Hugh McCarthy has been working as a retained firefighter in Dunshockland in Meath for 21 years. His grandfather, one of the original crew members at the station. He loves his job, but a recruitment and retention crisis is threatening to undermine the service across the country. I'm proud to serve the community, but we're getting to a stage now where lads are falling out of love with the job and really don't want to be coming up here. It's stress mentally and it's um, financially not um, acceptable to keep going the way it's going. Retained firefighters are on call 24-7 and must live and work within two and a half kilometres from the station. They get an annual retainer starting off at eight and a half thousand a year, which increases to 11,000 after 10 years service. The chances of them getting a job within two and a half kilometres of the station is very slim. There's not many employers out there that are willing to take us on and uh, let us go off call as soon as the call comes in. Mark Cold will join the service five and a half years ago. Before he was born, his two older brothers died in a fire. This is a job he always wanted, but like many others, is struggling to make ends meet. I can't afford to buy a house within two and a half kilometres of the station. And the way it is in Dunshockland here now, the prices are only going up, but money isn't going up. The job satisfaction is the reason why I do it more than that. It's to help. But if you can't provide your family with a roof over your head, like it's not realistic. Retained firefighters answer around 80% of emergency call-outs every year. The Housing Minister has published a report on the future of the service, which includes a number of recommendations. However, talks to resolve the dispute have so far failed. If there is no deal, a full-out strike is on the cars for two weeks' time. Paul Quinn, Virgin Media News.